your design and today I'm going to show you how to very easily uh, learn a little bit about the Divi WordPress theme and page builder. Divi is a super powerful theme. It is the uh, page builder and WordPress theme that many, many, many corporations use. It's a really nice um, and much more affordable alternative to show it and other uh, page builders you can see uh, there's just so much more you can do with it than just basic WordPress you can add um, video gradient there are so many design options you can see on my home page my whole site is built with Divi um, I am now building blogs in Divi and I just think it's fantastic it's also very visual you don't need to know any code um, but I do understand that initially um, if you have a new blog or website that is built with Divi, it can be a little bit confusing. So I'm just going to show you some of the super basic things that you would want to do in Divi. Um, basically just changing out text and images. And this is assuming that you already have a Divi site and you just want to make a, a small change to um, some text or switch out an image. Um, so to keep it simple, I'm going to pop over here. Um, actually, I'm going to pop over to my services page here. I think that's probably the easiest thing. And you will see this is the page I have on my website that outlines all of my different services that are offered from Little Blue Deer. The first thing that you will want to do is go to the Enable Visual Builder. You want to be on the front end of your website, not on the back end or dashboard, and you'll click on enable visual builder okay so keep in mind divi um, can take a minute to load you'll see the little loading icon and once the page loads once again let all of this finish um, don't get frustrated especially if you're on a cheaper shared hosting i use very expensive hosting it's pretty fast but uh, i do understand that if you're using something like godaddy it's going to take a little longer to load so just be aware of that and make sure the whole page is propagated now you can actually see that instead of seeing a bunch of code which is what you would ordinarily see um, if you went to edit a page in a website it's all visual um, how cool is that? So basically what I'm seeing uh, on the back end of things is uh, what people are seeing on the front end of my site. Now, um, once again, one reason that you would hire a professional WordPress designer would be uh, because we're designers and we know how to do things like, you know, add this cool little uh, curve to the image. This is just a full size image with a border radius added. Um, gradients, um, how to make arched images, uh, change the fonts, all that sort of thing. But um, I'm going to assume that that's what you have hired me to do and I have done that for you. Um, and now say, okay, well I've had my services page for a while and I've decided that I don't need to or maybe instead of using our French and Swedish and Italian here we want to try um, Spanish so instead of bonjour say maybe we want this to say hola so for any element on your Divi page it does not matter what it is when you are in the visual builder you will simply hover your mouse over that section. So see, I've hovered my mouse over my heading text here. Now you will want to click on the gear icon, all right? So you'll click on the gear icon, which is module settings. And look, it looks just like Microsoft Word or Apple Pages um, or the uh, default WordPress blog editor. So all you'll want to do, this is some heading text. It's H2 level um, just like in your blog post um, you can choose your heading level i'm going to keep mine at h2 and you'll see instead of this saying bonjour i wanted to say hola so i'm just going to change the text that's all you do um, if you just like in your post editor if you want to see the uh the text tab you can we're going to stay on visual 
But uh, basically I've changed bonjour to hola. And then I'm just gonna click the green check button here. And now we've got hola. And if I wanna go back to bonjour, I would just come right back and type bonjour and click the save. And if I want to change my body text here, once again, I'll show you. Hover over your module, click on the gear icon, and you'll see our handy dandy text settings, which is just the default visual, uh, WordPress visual editor. That is all that it is. So I can change any of my text here. Um, if I want to add a link to WordPress, I will just click on the link icon and I would enter the URL. I'm not gonna to link to WordPress. Everybody knows what it is. I don't need to do that. And when I'm done making my text changes, I'll click save, okay? So basically that is all you need to do to change your text. If you are changing out, um, say a short code or custom HTML, you would just go on the text tab and you would type your HTML here and click save. But basically, it's really pretty fun, right? So everything's all set up for me. Um, let's talk about changing an image and I'll just go right back up here. Um, I've got an image here. So let's go down to where I talk about additional services, okay? Here's my image, it's a pile of books. Um, say I want to change the image. I'm tired of this pile of books. So once again, as you will see, I hover over my header, there's my header text, there's the gear icon. I hover over my body text, there's the body text, there's the gear icon. And the same with your images. I hover over my image, there's the gear icon. Let's click on the gear icon, module settings, image. Look at that. Um, there's my pile of books. So say I don't want to have a pile of books anymore. I want to have, let's say this nice little image um, that's brown and it's got the little chair with it. I would just simply click on my image or say maybe uh, just some palms. I would upload my image. And like I said, sometimes it can take just a minute. We're gonna switch to these palms, click the upload an image, and now I've got my palms on that page instead. How about that? All I have to do is go to the Save Changes button and I will save my changes. So now I've showed you how to change an image, how to change any kind of text on the page. And basically, if you want to get more into Divi, there are so many tutorials out there. Like I said, it is the most popular WordPress visual builder. For the sake of this tutorial, all I'm showing you is how to change out text and images. However, um, you will see if you play around with it that there are just thousands and thousands of things that can be done. It's really kind of fun. It's fun for a designer. But now that you know how to change um, or update text, links, or images. When you are done, all you have to do is you can click on the purple button with three dots and you will be prompted to save here in the lower right corner. And when you save, you'll be able to save your changes. And just FYI, if you don't want to do the save, when you go to Exit Visual Builder, which will be your very last step, you'll come up here in your toolbar and you will see Exit Visual Builder. You will exit and if you haven't saved, you will be prompted to save on Exit. And now we can scroll down here on my page and we'll see here's my palms picture instead of my books. Isn't that cool? Um, so once again, any page that is built in Divi, all you have to do is go to the Enable Visual Builder and I'm gonna go back in because I am gonna change my image back to the books image, but you'll see I'll make any kind of text change, any kind of image change. I will click on the purple button with the three dots. I will save and I will 
Once I've finished saving, I'll see the check mark down there. I'll go to Exit Visual Builder, and my changes will be reflected on the front end of my website. So I really hope um, you enjoy Divi. It's great to have a professional design your blog with Divi because uh, there are so many things that you can do, and most people don't want to do the heavy lifting. That's why they hire a designer, but certainly if you... Uh, want to be able to change out your images and text and some other basics. I hope this introduced you to uh, the basics of the Divi page builder. And once again, just FYI, I do have um, a ton of WordPress tutorials, littlebluedeardesign.com backslash WordPress hyphen tutorials, and you can see all of my WordPress tutorials on this page. So I really hope that you will uh, Come visit me soon. Thank you so much for watching.